Hello, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the comedians that I want to appear on Taskmaster. Now, there are a lot of people that I want to see go on Taskmaster because it's a brilliant show and it brings out like the best of people. So yeah, there's loads of people I do want to see. So I've narrowed down this video and it's going to be just comedians and obviously not all comedians because there are a few that aren't on this list that I still do want to appear, but I've kind of just tried to go with a handful and so I could properly explain why I want to see them rather than just listing off a bunch of comedians' names. The amazing thing about Taskmaster is that it introduces, it's introduced me to so many comedians and that is what is so amazing. So yeah, I just, anybody on Taskmaster is good <laughs> in my opinion, but these are just a select few. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So first of all is David Mitchell and I think he's probably one of the most requested comedians to go into Taskmaster and yeah he is just an, a, an amazing comedian. He's just so hilarious and he's got a distinct style about him and I think it really works. One of the things that characterises his comedy is his like angry posh rants and we've seen this on QI and Would I Lie to You and I think it would transfer very well to Taskmaster because he's not someone who will just be ranting the entire time and taking over but like once you get on his nerves or like push him a bit too far he will rant and it will just be hilarious and especially with um Greg and Alex I think it'd be very funny and I can just picture him doing the tasks and doing it in like a sarcastic way and yeah I just think it would be brilliant and he is kind of quirky in a way especially because what we see on kind of like would I lie to you is he <laughs> there's one where he's like he's got a magician's hat and wand from his wife for for Christmas and I just think he's just kind of a, yeah he's a bit quirky he's a bit weird and I think that really works on Taskmaster. David Mitchell is also incredibly smart so I imagine he would kind of do what Richard Osman did and kind of look at the questions in a different way and kind of do some word word trickery to get kind of an alternative route to doing the task. So I think he would come up with some very interesting ways of doing tasks. He also is the kind of person that lets other people take over the studio and kind of have their moment. He's not always wanting to be in the centre of attention, but he will come to the forefront when it's necessary, but then also let other people do that. So he won't take over the studio. So yeah, I think David Mitchell would be an amazing comedian to go on Taskmaster. He'd just be great. Like, he's one of my dream contestants. I would also like to see Sarah Millican go on Taskmaster. I think that she's just such a fun and bubbly personality and I think she'd really bring out all of the like ridiculousness of the tasks. She's also great in a studio as we've seen on 8 out of 10 cats plenty of time and she's just really good at kind of making funny comments on things and yeah she's not really afraid to she doesn't really hold back on anything and I think that would translate very well to Taskmaster. Her comedy is a good mix between kind of more serious kind of satirical stuff and then also just daft things and I recently uh, listened to the Line of Duty podcast and she was on the first episode and she can just laugh about anything and make jokes about anything and she's just such you're listening to her and she's just making you giggle even though it's not like necessarily like amazingly funny, it's just the way she says things and the way that she finds humour in a lot of things I think is really good. And I can just imagine her going into the room in Taskmaster and reading a task and just bursting out in fits of giggles. And I think that is just what I want to see on Taskmaster. I want to see people just embracing the silliness of it. And I think she'd do that really well. Also, every time I've seen her on a panel show or something. She's again like David Mitchell, she's very good at being such a loud and big personality while also letting other people kind of have the, you know, be in the centre for attention as well. Like she's very good at kind of sharing that whereas I feel like with some comedians always kind of take over um, sometimes but I, I feel like she will do a really good job of kind of popping in and out of like the centre and I think that'd be really good. I think Milton Jones would be very, very good on Taskmaster as well because he is probably one of the weirdest comedians <laughs> out there. 
I've seen his comedy described as deadpan and um, neurotic, so yeah, he's just, he's insane and he really brings out the absurdity in things. Like he's all, he's been on Mock the Week quite a lot, that's where I know him from. And some of the things he comes out with are just, they don't make any sense, yet they're incredibly funny. And a big thing about Taskmaster is a lot of the time it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Like the tasks might not make sense. Alex Horn is kind of a very, very subtle version of Milton Jones, I would say, in the sense that he will just come up with things that are seemingly out of nowhere. But Milton Jones does this in a way that he takes that thing out of nowhere and just makes it the most absurd thing you've ever seen. So I can imagine his approaches to tasks would be just insanity and like what nobody else would ever think of. And yeah, I think it would be hilarious to watch. I feel like with Milton Jones, he would either get like all the points and be absolutely amazing consistently, or just be like absolutely terrible and just completely going in the wrong direction. Like there'd be no in between. I'd also really like to see Miranda Hart on Taskmaster. And I know she isn't like the most popular comedian. She's definitely the comedian that I see kind of get the most amount of hate and I don't understand why. I think she is such a funny, like silly person and she just, again, she just embraces the silly things and I think that is really funny and she just has such a bubbly personality and I think it would work very well on Taskmaster. So obviously she created her own Miranda and is kind of based on her life and she like embarrasses herself a lot on that show. So I think that kind of shows that she's not afraid to embarrass herself, which is something that is needed on Taskmaster. Like obviously it's not good if everybody does it. It's nice to have the kind of awkward kind of people who hold back a bit. She just wouldn't be afraid to embarrass herself or make herself look silly. Like she would just go all out and I think that would work very, very well. She also has a book called Miranda's Daily Dose of Such Fun, which kind of gives you a silly task or idea to do on every day of the year. So yeah, she's kind of already got that kind of doing silly tasks. I know it's obviously not the same as Taskmaster, but it's kind of the same idea. So I feel like, yeah, she's kind of used to the doing just silly things in her day-to-day -day life. And I don't think Taskmaster would be much of a challenge for her. <laughs> So linking to Miranda Hart is Sarah Hadland and she played Stevie on Miranda. So she's worked a lot with her and she has the same kind of silliness about her, except she's like a tad bit more serious. And yeah, she just has a very like distinct voice and distinct comedy style that I think would work. Like, yeah, I just think it would be an interesting addition to Taskmaster. So she is mainly a comedy actress rather than like a stand-up comedian like the rest of the people on this list are. But I feel like that... I think Taskmaster works for everybody basically, not just stand up. And yeah, she, she all the characters she plays are kind. Of, so with Stevie, she also plays um, a character called Trish on the job lot. And it is kind of very, like very silly, very kind of odd, but also kind of serious at the same time. So yeah, I think that that kind of comedy style where it's a mix between serious and silly is exactly what Taskmaster is. And I think it she would just mesh really well with it. She's also appeared on lots of like sketch shows like um, The Mitchell and Webb Look and Horrible Histories. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of her and I think that she would just really thrive on Taskmaster. Like she recently appeared on Would I Lie to You and she was just hilarious and silly again. And yeah, I just, yeah, I just really want to see her on Taskmaster. Rob Brydon, I think, is a very popular choice to go on Taskmaster. So if you don't know, he is the host of Would I Lie To You? And he appeared on Gavin Stacey, which is a very popular show in the UK. And yeah, he's just hilarious. Like, I, I don't know how else to describe him. He's just hilarious. And on um, Would I Lie To You, for example, he is very good, because obviously he's the host, so he's very good at kind of being diplomatic and, like, you know, letting other people speak, but then also doing impressions a lot. He does a lot of impressions and I think that he'd definitely do that a lot on Taskmaster. He kind of makes fun of people in like a nice way and also points out the ridiculousness of what they're saying and would I lie to you. So I feel like he would do that on Taskmaster as well. Like he would not be afraid to point out why someone has done something really stupid. And yeah, I just, I feel like he's just such a nice, fun person. And I just think that the kind of comedy he does is very Taskmaster-esque in a way. 
yeah, I can just I can just picture him doing Taskmaster, and it's so hard to like I put it into words. Like he just fits so well. Yeah, he's also a bit like David in a way in the fact that he gets quite argumentative, and he on to onward I like to as well. He gets kind of confused by things like simple things. So I feel like he would do that on Taskmaster. Like he might get confused by the wording of the task and do something silly and then argue a lot, but not like a lot a lot but like he would definitely not be afraid to argue with Greg so yeah and his just personality is just so fun and I think it would translate very well to Taskmaster. So the next comedian is Jack D and Jack D is takes on a very grumpy persona kind of similar to what we saw with Ramesh and Ramesh is one of my favourite ever contestants on Taskmaster I think he's absolutely brilliant and I think they both have a very similar level of grumpiness in the way that they kind of do their comedy. So it's not like too much. It's just like the perfect amount that it's just really funny. So I think he'd be very similar to Ramesh in a way because yeah, just the grumpiness and they kind of both have that kind of sense of that they're unbothered, but then also really want to win as well. So I feel like that would work. Again, like we've seen it work well with um, with Ramesh. Jack D is also very quick-witted and smart and just very witty. And I think that kind of comedy translates very well to Taskmaster in the sense that he will he'll probably pick up on Greg on a couple of things and make comments about what people have done like silly and maybe kind of argue with Alex a bit maybe. And I feel like in group tasks, he would kind of maybe do his own thing in a way but then also all even like grumpily go along with whatever the other people he's working with are. One of the things I say is that I like people to really enjoy themselves on Taskmaster and with Jack D I feel like he would have that look of being grumpy but he would always just kind of be subtly enjoying himself and yeah he's also the type of person to kind of sit back and let it happen and then kind of jump in when needed and I think again like he would just bring a really great environment to the studio as he as he does with like every other panel show that he is on. Alan Carr is another comedian I want to see and he would just be so like silly and outlandish and it's just exactly what Taskmaster needs like he was on um uh, the Celebrity Bake Off and he was just as silly and funny on that and again not really afraid to embarrass himself which I think is such a good thing comedians need to do and yeah he's also been on um, 8 out of 10 cats a lot and on 8 out of 10 cats you have to bring in a mascot and he brought in one of the funniest things I've ever seen which was like he made like fake boobs with like drink in them and they just it failed and it went all down him so I feel like that's kind of an example of the kind of silly approach to tasks he would have and the fact that how much he laughed when it failed and it he made it funnier than if it would have been if it succeeded so I feel like with that you might get a kind of sense of when something goes wrong he will just laugh and he won't kind of feel bad about it in a way like he might do but he won't show it and he'll just laugh about it and I just I love it when people are like that I think it's just such a great personality. So next up is Sean Locke, who is one of my like ultimate favourite comedians. He is just, just incredible. And again, he would just be amazing on Taskmaster, especially with, I feel like, the prize task. I think he would knock the prize task out of the park. Because again, like I just said, with um, 8 out of 10 cats, he is like um, one of the team captains, so he's on it quite regularly. And so one of the things they had to bring in a mascot so he has obviously had to bring in so many mascots and he just doesn't seem to run out of ideas so I feel like with kind of the prize task even though he's done it like a million times with eight out of ten cats he will still feel think of something really funny to bring in he's also very inventive as well like some of the ideas he comes up with I have absolutely no idea how they pop into his head and he's also not afraid to do just stupid things. Like one time he poured a, bo uh, a box of cat litter over his head just because someone told him to. He ate like a bunch of 
disgusting whelks because someone dared him to. Like, he will just do stupid things anyway, so doing stupid things on Taskmaster would just be hilarious. So yeah, I, I think he would just put in so much effort, but again, having that almost kind of like grumpiness about him, that I think if you get um, Sean Locke and Miles Jupp on a series, like, it will be the best series ever. They are just such an incredible duo, and yeah, I just think that would be amazing. Miles Jupp is also a comedian that I do want to see, but I haven't listed him here, but definitely want to see Miles Jupp as well. S group, we'll, we'll put Miles Jupp in this list as well. He is just hilarious, and one of the amazing things about Miles Jupp is just the how much he finds things funny. Like, he's not kind of somebody who will laugh and want everybody to look at, look at them laughing and kind of make it a spectacle, almost. He will just be just silently dying in his chair because he's just finding what's happening so funny. So I can just imagine him absolutely losing it every episode. And he has that kind of posh energy that um, David Mitchell has, but David Mitchell kind of says he's posh and smart, whereas Miles Jupp takes the approach that he's posh but not smart, which I I disagree, but he that's the kind of personality he takes on. And yeah, again, he's very silly, and yeah, he'd just be great on Taskmaster. So I would also really like to see Richard Ayoade, um, I did talk about this in my live stream, and if you didn't see it, it will be up here. So Richard Ayoade, I really like. He is such an amazing actor, especially on IT Crowd, which is, I think where most of us know him from. And uh, his character is just one of the greatest characters ever written, and nobody else could play him apart from Richard Ayoade. So yeah, I also really like him on Travel Man. With Travel Man, he's kind of got that authoritarian in an, in a way, like obviously not very strict, but. He's in charge and he knows he's in charge and he will kind of make fun of the people on. But then also kind of, especially with Crystal Maze, and then with um, Travel Man, he'll kind of bring out the silliness in a place. He works really well with a singular person, so I feel like on team tasks he'd be really well. However, a lot of the time at the moment he is kind of on panel shows. He is really taking a personality that he just does not want to be there. And yeah, I don't really think that would very me that would mesh well on Taskmaster because for me personally, I again like to see people enjoying themselves and embracing it and yeah, so if he doesn't do that unbothered thing, I think he'd be one of the greatest contestants ever, but yeah, I just want to see him enjoy it and everything. So last but not least on my list is Henning Wren and he is a German stand-up comedian and he's just, he's just hilarious. He's been on a bunch of panel shows in the UK, for example. 8 out of 10 cats is countdown and would i lie to you and on would i lie to you he's very much similar to bob in the bob mortimer in their way that he just gets up to ridiculous things and every time you hear him speak you think it'd be a lie but it's actually true so yeah and if we kind of say they're similar on would i lie to you they might be very similar on taskmaster uh henning is Oh God, he's just really funny. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. But yeah, I just feel like he'd be really good. He'd come up with some very outlandish approaches to tasks and just, he's really good at work in a studio and working alongside other comedians. So I feel like he'd work very well on Taskmaster. So that is the end of my list. Again, as I said, there are a ton more comedians that I wanna see go on Taskmaster. And I love that Taskmaster introduces me to new comedians. So if your favourite comedian isn't on my list, then that's absolutely fine. But these are the people that just kind of are the first people I think of when I think of who I want to see on Taskmaster. So let me know what you think about the people I've said and let me know who you want to see on Taskmaster because I will probably agree with you. <laughs> there are only a few people that I wouldn't want to see on Taskmaster. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a like. And if you want to see more videos linked to Taskmaster or other TV shows, then subscribe and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.